Greetings, viewers. This is King Echo from Southern Cameroon and Amazonia. Welcome to my platform. This is a Pan African platform. Please like, share, and subscribe. The discussion of today has to do with Chad. But if you don't know, now you probably know. But if you don't know, now you probably know that the president of Chad is dead and if you notice i'm kind of smiling because as an african and as a pan-african i'm happy because chad as well as many countries in africa need change and in order to have change in africa is very difficult so when you have a leader who has been in president for 30 years it's no more it's a good thing but for others it's not but for me it is a good thing but that is not the reason why i'm doing this video i'm not doing this video because the president of chad is dead i'm doing this video because the late president of chad who just passed away his son is now the interim president of chad and I, as a pan Africans, do not like that. You see, the son of the late president in Chad was has been named interim president by the Transitional Military Council, a rebel force known as the Front for Change and Concord. In Chad, said Chad is not. A monarchy and i feel that deeply that chad is not a monarchy many of our african leaders try to take power and make it into a monarchy when it's a democracy because they think and they believe that with the support of the former colonial masters they can stay in power because that's how the president of Chad, who is a fleet, who was killed, who was assassinated by his own people because he overstayed his welcome in Chad. And this is not the first time his own people have made an attempt to kill him. But the late president of Chad came to power in 1990 coup so he took power by force through military from the other president and ruled for 30 years while ruling for 30 years he groomed his son to be the next president because this is not the first time this has happened in africa where you know a president passed the you know passed power to his son, it has happened. That I believe there's actually one president that is in power because of that. Maybe more than one, but it's a common phenomenon in Africa because Western powers support those, you know, government. They stay longer in power, and they have the military under their hands. And they kill their own people to stay in power. Which is why when the people have a chance to get rid of those leaders, they will take it. Because they have been dying in their hands by those leaders. When um the rebel decided to, you know, attack the, the former or the late president of Chad decided to involve himself in the fight but kept his own son in the capital there was a reason there was a purpose why he did that he was prepared he has prepared he was preparing his son or he has been preparing for his son to be the next president just in case something is to happen to him as he goes to fight or as he goes to war then his son will take power as you know, the person of Chad is dead. 
it was killed. Now, the son is now the interim president of the chapter. In 2008, a different rebel force reached the capital and came close to close to tumbling the late president before French military forces with chart forces joined together to drive those military those rebel group from the city Franks notice that Franks French military because French military is in chat French military is in French is in French Africa but the military of French Africa is not in France. The military of France or French is all over French Africa countries. But the military of French African countries are not in France. Why is it that it is okay? of French Africa, for Africa, to allow the military of France to be in Africa, to allow the military of the United Kingdom to be in Africa, to allow the military of the West to be in Africa. There, they use their might with, you know, French African military to suppress and subdue the people. Because when you have tyrants and dictators, because as like the president of, or the former president of Chad, he's a tyrant, he's a dictator, killing his own people to stay in power with the support of France. How can Africa grow? How can Chad grow? How can any French African country Grow. You know, the former colonial power, and I would say it's still the colonial power of, of, of Africa, which is France, or French Africa, which is France, feels lost after the death of Chad's president, because the president of Chad, or the late president of Chad, was a right hand man to France. You know, France, the French government fell at home with him, just like some of other French African countries, like Ivory Coast. You know, like you could name it. They are subservient to France. And because this president has been killed, by the rebels and they don't France doesn't you know have another right hand man to put in place to have complete control over Chad like the former colonial so they are lost without their late without the late president of Chad but the late president of Chad was grooming his son to take over because he wanted to turn Chad into a monarchy, which Chad is not. Many of the African countries are being turned into monarchies because the leaders stay in power for so long and they find a way to put their own son or children in power, in position of power, so that they can control the nation. But the people of Africa must rise and should rise and fight, fight such nonsense. Which is why the rebels of Chad are making sure that are doing everything possible to eliminate this so-called interim president of Chad, who is the son of the late president and i'll say this to the rebel group 
this is the best time to take out the interim president of Chad. If you give him room to grow, he will be in power for more than 30 years, just like his father. So this is the best time, the best moment, because that is the only person that is suited to walk hand in hand with France and continue the legacy of his father. But the only reason why, you know, France is lost without the late president is because the interim president and the son of the former late president hasn't have the hasn't have complete control over what is happening in chat which is why they feel lost so don't give the interim president the opportunity to grow his power and control chat because if you do you will lose your momentum to change the outcome this is the time to strike and strike while it is hot so that you can also get rid of this interim president because if he succeeds to stay in power and have control, then Chad will be worse than it is now. Then it has been in the past 30 years because he knows and understand the tactics that his father used to control Chad. And he's going to use that with his own abilities to control Chad. So you don't want to give him the slightest chance to have control over Chad. You must, the rebel group must, reb, must take out the interim president and all his key factors that support him the key pillars that support him in his rulership of Chad. This is the best time to strike. And when you strike, take control. And if you have an opportunity, take out the military of France too. Because remember, when the military group in 2008 tried to assassinate the former late president, it was France that helped that president to get rid of that, get rid of the former, the other rebel group, which means that even when you successfully get rid of this interim president, you still have to deal with France. France is a plague. France is a disease. France is a cancer to Africa. And they use the leadership they use the presidents of Africa to rule and destroy Africa, to make Africa not to grow. Look at Africa, all over, all over Africa, Central Africa, West Africa, there's war going on. Especially in the French African countries, wars are going on. Why? Because France, wants it that way they benefit from it that way you don't see them destroying their own nation you don't see them destroying their own country you don't see them fighting wars in their own country they help plague wars in africa so that they could benefit and because our african leaders are so well i don't know if they i would say gullible or don't have the the courage to lay down the foundation that could help grow Africa. They tend to, you know, beg and, you know, look up to France as the father figure of French Africa. Africa, is, and especially French Africa, must cut complete tie with France. France is the weakest force in europe france is a super superpower because of french africa french africa helps make 
Frank's a superpower. If we cut the link, we can build Africa stronger and better and weaken Frank's in the process. For Africa to grow, for Chad to grow, for any French African country to grow, we must cut the link with France. You see, the Nigerian president, no, excuse me, not Nigerian president, the Nigerian minister of foreign affairs um, reflected on the death of the president of Chad. You know, the Chadian troops play a key role in peacekeeping missions. We don't want a power vacuum in Chad. But I say this to the Nigerian minister, Nigerian foreign minister. Nigeria has its own problem. There's Boko Haram. You have the Biafra issue. You have Yoruba issue. You have the Fulanese issues. You have a lot of internal issues that you need to fix. So don't put your eye on Chad. Yes, Chad needs a power. I mean, it doesn't need a power vacuum. But Chad needs to fight to destroy this interim government or president in order to create a better power structure that will benefit the people of Chad. So they have to face their own internal enemies. Don't just try to rush and help create another president or support another president just because it's there that will you know that will destroy chad in the process because it's not all about stability if you look around africa there's war going on why because the system that we have in africa is not working for africa but working for the west it's france that benefit from what is happening in Africa is United Kingdom that benefits from what is happening in Africa because they help create the system in Africa. The system is not working. We must change that. And in order to change that, if wars must happen, let it happen. Nigeria is going through their own wars, their own fight. The Biafra wants to separate. The Yoruba wants to separate. The Fulanis are causing chaos. You haven't solved that problem. And you're talking about hey, we don't have a power vacuum in. We don't want a power vacuum in chat. Nah. There was everywhere in, in Africa. Everywhere. Why? Because the system is not working. The system that was left by the colonial master during the Berlin conference is not working. And it needs complete radical change. And the people must make that happen. While in the process, destroy this old system that benefit by the European power, but not African people. So I'll say, I want the rebels in Chad to strong to stand strong and destroy this so-called interim president because it's not he doesn't have the interest of chat doesn't have the interest of the people of chat but his own personal interest like his father who sold his soul to france and destroyed the lives of so many african people in chat and that goes to many of the African leaders as well. Chaos, mayhem, destruction, war. War in Africa is what is going to destroy the colonial masters who have complete control of what is happening in Africa. And we need those war. Because they have been using the system to destroy us. Well, we have to use their own system to make havoc in that way they wouldn't have to they wouldn't have any opportunity to even benefit from the system allah wakbang this is king h i'm out